New tonight, a big show of support for a Houston Methodist nurse who spearheaded a legal fight against mandatory COVID vaccines. Today was the deadline for holdout employees to get the vaccine or lose their jobs. But employees who refuse to get the shot are also refusing to give up their fight. Marcelino Benito shows us what happened tonight and what happens next. Marcelino. Guys, tonight many of these Houston Methodist employees gathered together for the first time. Their two week unpaid suspension is now underway. When it's over, they'll be fired, all for choosing not to get vaccinated. After weeks of taking a stand against Houston Methodist Hospital's COVID-19 vaccine mandate, Jennifer Bridges, the nurse at the center of a now federal lawsuit, walked out of Methodist Hospital Baytown for the last time. I cried the whole way out. Waiting for her was a crowd of supporters and dozens of nurses who are losing their jobs too for declining to roll up their sleeves for the vaccine. I kind of feel betrayed a little bit. Many of these men and women spent the last year and a half treating COVID-19 patients. I work in the ER, so it was crazy during the whole COVID pandemic, and it's like we were short staffed over capacity with patients like it was just a lot and then it's like for them to kind of do this to us kind of like a slap in the face or that's how I felt. Today was the deadline to get vaccinated and Houston Methodist CEO Dr. Mark Boom says 99% of employees are immunized. He added it's unfortunate that today's milestone of Houston Methodist becoming the safest hospital system in the country is being overshadowed by a few disgruntled employees. It just seems cruel. Nurses now facing unemployment say they didn't deserve to be treated this way. They need to give people choices. They can't force things upon people that they're not comfortable with. And tonight they tell us there are no regrets and their fight is just beginning. If I have to eat ramen noodles for a month or two, I'm OK with that because the rest of my life and my health and my family is more important than money or this job. Bridges tells us dozens more nurses are expected to join her lawsuit in the coming days. Lawyers are expected to file their briefings with a federal judge later this week. Rekha, back to you. And Jennifer Bridges says she's going to take this all the way to the Supreme Court if she has to. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this. Thank you, Marcelino.